Ian Baird, 3-1 victory over Cinderford Town this afternoon. How do you reflect on the game? Uh, glad it's over. Uh, got the right result. A um, little bit disappointing at times the way we played. We didn't really have a lot of penetration. Uh, but we went back to our tried and trusted system. It was a 4-1-3-2. Uh, I think with 20 minutes to go and we sort of overloaded them and that's when we started peppering their goal. And credit where credit's due, Alfie uh, Rutherford's got across the, uh, the defender, scored one then and got another one. And I don't think anybody would be under any stretch of the imagination. We would have been by far and away better side today. But you know, you always give a you know a side a puncher's chance. We gave them a puncher's chance, made a, a catalogue of errors for them to score a goal, and then all of a sudden you're one all, and you're thinking, hang on a second, they might nick it here, or you know you might have to go there on Tuesday night. But credit where credit's due to the players, it wasn't probably our best performance of the season, but we won. Grinding the result out in the end, Alfie obviously seems to have this knack, doesn't it? When we when we're in the well a little bit, he comes up with that goal at the crucial moment. Yeah, well, Alfie's, you know, I'll say it on camera, he, he's still learning the game. He really is. And it looks like to us he hasn't been particularly, and that's no, this is no detriment on anybody else, but he hasn't really been taught how to play the position that we want him to play. Um, but he's got so much uh, ability in other areas, and, he, and he's a natural goal scorer. You know, and we're always telling Alfie he's a good, good player. You know, if he can add the other things to his game, then you know who who knows where Alfie Rutherford go. But he'll be delighted that he's got his two goals today. What was your thoughts at one one with fifteen minutes left to play? Uh, just what I just said. Mm -hmm. You know, we could have left ourselves wide open, and and they might have done us and nicked us on two one. Um, or, you know, we'd have to go down there on Tuesday night and and dig out another result and another game. Um, that didn't happen. And as I said, credit where credit's due to the players, they've pulled it out of the bag, and you know we're in the hat for the next round. It's one of those performances where you almost we got the result done. So some, to a certain extent, that it's you kind of glad you got the result over the performance a bit. Um, well, I'm sure you noticed, but we tinkered mm -hmm. with the system today. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, we hadn't had time really to work on it. And when you change a system after playing another system throughout the season, um, sometimes players find that hard to adapt to. And um, that's probably down to us. You know, one or two issues this week. Um, I wasn't in on Thursday when we meant to do it. Doz has had a, an operation mm -hmm. on his arm. Um, so, we, you know, we had a little bit of a gamble up with it, knowing that we've got good players here. Um, but as I said, we try, you know, we had to switch back to our tried and tested, and we're very, very pleased with the result. Very pleased. Dulwich drew today, which means the game on Tuesday night is off. That gives us a, a week recuperation for the game against Billerick. Do you think that's going to be an advantage to us, considering a couple of the injuries that we've got on this side? Well, it was always an advantage. I mean, as everybody realised, you know, we've had rain and uh, non-stop down here. Uh, that's made the pitch very, very heavy. Um, the players got to play in that um, for the last three weeks. I think it might be, might be even four weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and also, it gives us the opportunity for Wes Fogden. Um, Wes has been a big, big miss for us. He's uh, been very, very good for us this season. Um, that gives him another sort of three training sessions to make himself available for Bill and Ricky away next week. And of course, now in the hat for the first round prop on Monday afternoon. I suppose home tie will be what every manager expects up and down the country. Well, it certainly will be, and it is is one of our ambitions. Both brothers and myself is you know to get a side to Wembley. Uh, we haven't been particularly fortunate with it over the years, uh, for one reason or another. But uh, we'll be uh, gunning for that, and hopefully we can all have a Wembley appearance. Uh, I think it's in the end of May or middle of May, so that would be nice. Yeah, but we would like a home draw. Betty, thank you very much. Thank you very much.